Controversy is brewing in the city of Apopka. That's where a member of the committee investigating the death of a firefighter claims city leaders are giving them pushback. West Choose Amanda Duke spoke with the victim's father. 25-year-old Apopka firefighter Austin Duran died in July, one month after a trailer filled with sand fell on him at the fire station. A report on the accident detailed a lack of training in the fire department and a safety committee was formed to look into safety improvements. But now, at least one person has resigned from that committee, claiming the pushback it received on the investigation gave him no choice. In a letter to the city of Apopka, Lieutenant Alex Klepper, who was also the fire union president, said, Ever since this committee started looking into Austin's accident, we've been met with pushback to the point that the fire administration appears to be bending over backward to exclude us, its own safety committee, from doing a simple post-incident critique. In a second letter, the chair of the safety committee responds to Klepper's resignation. District Chief Gerald Maynard says the post-incident critique of Duran's death was something he advocated to complete, but he claims we've been instructed by the city attorney and fire chief that we cannot proceed at this time. Austin's father, Michael Duran, says he's frustrated with the lack of progress. We can't even get the safety committee to last more than five months. We already have senior firefighters that are dropping out. West 2 News reached out to the city of Apopka to try and get some answers, and the city attorney said that a pending lawsuit keeps him from commenting. This is the memorial to Austin Duran, and here today his dad told us he just wants to see safety changes. The Austin incident needs to be investigated thoroughly and completely. In Apopka, Amanda Dukes, West 2 News.